Look, this is an issue which must be addressed because it commands significant interest, albeit concern amongst the majority of Australians. According to the 2021 census, the number of Australians who are not religious has further increased. In 1971, 87% of Australians identified as religious and overwhelmingly as Christian. Now it's 54%. What is more, only five years ago, 52% of Australians identified as Christian, and that number is now sitting at 44%, which, if the figures are to be believed, represents an almost 20% decline in Christian belief in just five years. Now, there are some fundamental questions to be asked. If there has been such a decline, why? Or does the church have itself to blame for a decline in adherence? One point that's made is that a majority of teachers at Catholic schools are not regular adherents and therefore would have no interest in supporting parents with the gift of faith to their children. Indeed, some actively question fundamental church teachings rather than giving students the intellectual rigour to defend them. And of course, it goes without saying that many of these same teachers are on board with the climate cult and any other woke ideology that comes along. So how do you address that trend? What is the significance of the Robert Menzies initiative to fund non-government schools? Would Christian schools be in a much stronger position to take on governments imposing radical Marxist social policy if their establishments were not so dependent on government funding? As one academic, Dr. Rocco Loyacono, a senior lecturer at the Curtin University Law School, rightly argues, quote, if you're going to take the devil's money, you are sooner or later going to have to dance to his tune. And why would you bite the hand that feeds you, unquote? Well, Dr. Kevin Donnelly is an Australian educator, author and commentator, a senior fellow at the Australian Catholic University's PM Glynn Institute. In 2014, he co-authored a review of the Australian national curriculum. He recently argued, quoting Sir Roger Scruton, who was an outstanding English philosopher and writer specialising in aesthetics and political philosophy, and I quote, Western societies have to regain confidence in the spiritual inheritance on which they ultimately rest, unquote. Dr. Donnelly is the editor of an outstanding recent publication, Christianity Matters. There it is on your screens. In these troubled times, Dr. Donnelly joins me. Kevin, thank you for your time. To the census, how do you explain that Australians who identify as Christians now represent only 44% of the respondents to the census, which is a massive decline in five years. It's a very difficult question to uh, answer, Alan, and thank you very much for having me on the show. You're welcome. I mean, one reason must be the the vicious attack on, on Cardinal Pell and the whole uh, left wing agenda about demonising Christianity, about attacking Christianity. Now, everyone admits the issue of pedophilia was was a real issue. But when you look at the way the me media handled that, especially the ABC, they went overboard to attack Cardinal Pell, Christianity. And I think that's had an effect on people. Mm. So people start to think, well, have. if mm. you mention Christianity, then they immediately think yeah. of that. 